Today's video is made possible by Squarespace. What's up tech fans, Kevin here on Tech of Tomorrow. Now today we're reviewing one of the most talked about games to come out this year. A lot of PC gamers have been looking forward to it, and a lot of console gamers went as far as to buying an Xbox One just to play it. Titanfall. Now this is the first game to come from Respawn Entertainment, a company which consists of a lot of people that left Infinity Ward after Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and they're responsible for that title and Call of Duty 4, which a lot of people hold as being the best two in the series. Now does this game live up to their legacy and prove to be one of the best new FPS IPs of the year? Let's find out today on Tech of Tomorrow. So, Titanfall is a multiplayer-focused FPS that takes place in the far future, and players take on the role of pilots who participate in 6v6 matches that also feature numerous AI-controlled enemies. Now, players make use of a lot of familiar tools and weapons like most FPS games, but there's a few new things as well, namely a jetpack and the eponymous Titans that players can call down during matches. Visually, the game is good, but not great. Terrain, weapon, and pilot detail leave a bit to be desired, but are far from ugly. One area that it does excel at visually, though, is the Titans themselves, specifically their animations. They have their own way of moving and clanking about, and it's all very smooth while not looking like they're just large people running around. Now, as far as core mechanics go, there's a lot of familiar territory here, along with just a touch of the new, namely the free-running mechanics and, of course, calling the Titans themselves. Gunplay feels very similar to the Call of Duty franchise, though there is a noticeable reduce in recoil across all guns, presumably because this is the far future. Aside from just shooting guns and lobbing grenades, players have a lot more mobility options on foot than in most current FPS titles, being able to double jump and wall run, and being allowed to alternate between the two to allow for a crazy amount of distance coverage. As a Titan, gameplay is still very similar to that of most FPS games and controls a lot like being a pilot, with the important exception that you can't jump, but can instead perform a quick dash to avoid enemy attacks. While all match types are limited to a total of 12 players, the map is filled with enemy AI in the form of minion foot soldiers and specters, helping to breathe life into every match. Usually these guys serve as cannon fodder and easy kills, but they can make a useful distraction for a smart pilot, and can even end up helping take down titans if a pilot chooses to ignore them. Now this game doesn't employ any kind of killstreak system, but instead relies on simple cooldown based timers. Pilots' tactical abilities and titan ordnance attacks are based on a simple cooldown mechanic, while summoning a titan or using a titan core ability are based on a timer running out. Titans can be summoned faster with good performance like killing minions or pilots, or simply damaging enemy titans, so there's some reward for playing well, but it doesn't bar players entirely. Now, I personally prefer this a lot compared to killstreaks. It doesn't award a single player a stupid amount of momentum for having a strong start, and doesn't punish a player for joining a game late. You all just have a set of abilities that can be used every so often. Now, game modes currently consist of five different match types with 16 different maps to choose from. Pilot Hunter, which serves like a traditional point-based deathmatch. Attrition, which is the same thing but also awards points for minion and titan kills. Hardpoint, which is a simple three-point domination match and the all-time team classic Capture the Flag, and the relatively most unique mode, Last Titan Standing, in which everyone starts in a Titan and must fight and destroy all opposing ones, not necessarily all pilots. I kind of wish there was a little more match variety, but what's here does cover the major bases for team-focused FPS, and it helps making finding matches pretty easy. The game does offer a campaign mode as well, though this plays out just as playing regular matches on a specific map in a specific mode, with maybe a little intro cutscene and mid-game dialogue, with the occasional special circumstance changing the game a bit from a traditional match. Honestly, what plot the game's campaign has to offer just isn't very much or very good, and whether you win or lose a match, it's still going to continue on rails either way. But I still find it preferable to having to try and shoehorn in some kind of awkward single-player mode. And it does serve as a great intro to the game's multiplayer, and is required to beat twice, one on each side, in order to unlock all three different Titan loadouts for customization. Now, as is fairly common these days in a lot of multiplayer-focused FPS games, players earn experience for completing matches and challenges, which in turn levels them up and unlocks more options to choose from for customization. Players can equip a primary weapon, a sidearm, an anti-titan weapon, and some kind of explosive minor grenade, along with having a tactical ability on cooldown and two different passive benefits. Titans can be customized in a similar fashion by choosing one of three bodies which affect their speed, defense, and special core ability, and can also choose what gun they use, what special ordnance they have, what special ability, and once again a pair of passive bonuses. 
I feel like the options here are more limited than they should be, especially with pilot tacticals in which there's only three of them to choose from. Pilot weapons cover pretty much all the traditional items like assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, and snipers, though one particularly special addition in this case is the smart pistol, a gun that can auto-kill enemies after enough time is spent locking on. It's super easy to clear out minions with this thing, and might seem kind of abusable at first, though locking onto pilots takes quite some time and requires a decent amount of closeness, so anyone using an automatic weapon or a shotgun can make quick work of someone trying to use a smart gun on them. Unless it's the amped version. Which brings me to the one part of the game I'm really mixed on. Burn cards. So burn cards are these special items that you're rewarded with every time you complete a match or challenge, and for the most part what cards you get are random, though they do seem to favor guns that you use more often. They cover a wide variety of different effects that last for a single life, or in some special cases, an entire match. Effects vary from things like getting a super version of a regular gun, being able to instantly summon a titan, changing your appearance, gaining a certain tactical ability that just stays on all of the time, or even the ability to respawn right where you last died. Each card is a one-time use, you can only activate one at a time, and you can only bring three cards into one match. But even with these restrictions, I can't help but feel this mechanic just destroys the game's sense of balance. They're fun to use when you have them, but if you're looking for a more balanced, competitive-minded multiplayer game, then they're an element of randomness that just throws that out the window. They make a good addition for those of you that want to treat this as just a fun pick-up-and-play kind of situation, but I wish the game offered some custom match types where they're just turned off. So when it comes down to it, I think the easiest way for me to sum up my experience with Titanfall is that it's just good, simple fun with robots. It's not the most complex or realistic of shooters, and loadout options and builds for pilots and titans could definitely be a lot larger. But despite this, there's just this constant sense of momentum and fun to every match that keeps pulling you in. I'm not sure how much I can recommend it in terms of being a serious competitive game given the existence of burn cards and my own personal lack of being pro at FPS, but as far as a casual FPS to just jump into matches and destroy shit goes, it can be immensely fun, especially if you love robots. Personally, this is some of the most fun I've had in a multiplayer-focused FPS in a long time, and I highly recommend it. It's worth picking up right now if you just can't wait, but of course, knowing EA's track record and the fact that there's already a season pass, there's a very good chance that somewhere down the road, we're going to be able to buy a more complete version of the game under the title of Game of the Year or Premium Edition at an overall much more affordable price. Now before I get out of here guys, I do want to take a quick moment to thank the people over at Squarespace for helping make today's video possible. Squarespace is one of the easiest and fastest ways to build your own website thanks to drag and drop functionality. And it's optimized to look great no matter what device you're on. Whether it's your home computer, tablet, or phone, it doesn't matter, it's gonna look great. They've got a fantastic support staff working out of New York available 24-7, and pricing starts as low as 8 bucks a month, and if you sign up for a year, they throw in the domain for free. If you want to try it out, then Squarespace was awesome enough to give our fans the chance to get a 7-day free trial, no credit card required, and to top it off, you'll get 10% off your order if you end up liking it and you want to keep using it. All you gotta do is use the promo code TOT at checkout, that'll net you those benefits and show us some support. Now, as always guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to go crazy on that like button. And if you happen to miss our unboxing of the Titanfall Collector's Edition, you can check it out by clicking on this gigantic beast right here that was in it. Now if you want to grab a copy of Titanfall for yourself, we do have that linked in the description. And if you're not a subscriber yet, then you should be, because we've always got more stuff in the works. If you want to give that Squarespace trial a shot, make sure to remember that promo code TOT. I'm Kevin Protect Tomorrow, and we'll see you guys next time.